Isn't that like new pudding, are you? Yeah, I think so. Are you? What's your name? Scare me. Um, Josh. Where are you from? Well, we've moved about a bit, but I'm originally from Stafford. What are you guys doing? Nothing, real. Don't rise the little kids. <laughs> it's Avalon Bug. Where'd you get it? Oh, you mean this? Well, my dad got it from a mate. Well, don't wreck it. Don't worry, I'm a master at it. I'm only just mass fastening your shoelaces. Never mind riding a bike. <laughs> Cheers. So we guys doing now then? We? What makes you think that you're chilling with us? Oh, what? I thought... So you thought... That's... That's nothing to what I used to do. Okay, smart ass, let's hear it. Well, we used to call the fire service and say there was a fire. And Snapchat them coming down the road. Then, we just watched them. They drove around looking for a fire that wasn't there. Kept them busy for ages. Fair play. Go on then, if you're that brave, show us. Oh, um, well, I haven't got any credit on my phone. Or I would. You don't need credit during 999, Muppet. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. What are you Come on, what are you paying for? Whatever. Or do it. God. Come on, stop stalling, get on with it. <sighs> Hello, fire service. Fire service? Hello, there's fire in the middle of the park. I, I've just seen it as I was coming home from school. Okay, so it's a bin fire. And whereabouts is that? It's at the park at the back of the shops in Talford. Town Park. Okay, that's fine. We'll get the crews out on the way to it. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> now, now all we have to do is wait, and when they come flying past, we're going to film it, okay? Yeah. See, that was easy. Yeah, go ahead, James. We've just checked the first bin and nothing found. It's going to the second bin now. Over. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, go ahead, James. We checked the second bin, nothing found. I think it's a horse call over. Yeah, all received. Uh, if you make your way back, I'm going to send a message for some line malicious. All received. Let's go. That's weird. I've just got a text from the fire service saying they're going to blow my phone. It's weird, isn't it? They're bluffing, they can't do that sort of thing. Oh well. I know, we'll get Josh to do another call to the fire service. Don't be daft, you're putting people's lives at risk. They've got loads of fire engines, they're not going to miss one. Come on, hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up. Come, Come on! on. Go on. Go. Fire service, hello? There's fire in the underpass near the pool. And whereabouts is that? It's on the bypass, just as you turn for the estate. Okay, that's fine, we'll get the crews out on the way to it. Okay, thank you. Hey, did you hear about that maths test we've got tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, hey, here he is. Why haven't you answered any of our texts? Oh, uh, I haven't had any. Oh, my phone's been playing off. So there's no service on it. Look, it's been like it all day. I bet it's been blocked. You said they were bluffing, they couldn't do that sort of thing. Well, I don't know, do I? Maybe they can. Oh, that's just great. I know what, Josh. What you need to do is, this time, really set fire. Then they'll believe the others are true. 
good idea. Go for it, Josh. But where? I've got it. You know you rang yesterday saying there was a fire in the, in the underpass and there wasn't? Yeah. Well, this time there will be. I think you're all being stupid. You're putting people's lives in danger. Get lost, Paige. Grow up or go home to Mummy if you don't like it. Grow up? Me grow up? That's right, coming from you, Mott. I'm out of here. Oh. You are the wrong side of there. <laughs> Come on! Do it! Okay, it's falling, just do it! Hello, fire service? There's a fire in the underpass near the pool. Fire in the underpass. Didn't I speak to you yesterday and you reported a fire in the underpass? No, not me. I wasn't about yesterday. It's really big, full of rubbish and papers. No, okay, and whereabouts is this, please? Okay, that's fine. We'll get the crews out on the way to have a look at it. Thank you, bye bye. Tea's nearly ready, but I need to be really quiet for me because your baby sister's asleep upstairs, okay? Okay. Oh, keep an eye on tea. I need to go to the shop because we run out of tomato ketchup, okay? And she tells me to be quiet. Okay! <coughs> fire service. Hello, fire service. My house is on fire. <coughs> My mum went out and left the cooking on. <coughs> the house is full of smoke. <coughs> What's the address, please? It's 22 The Avenue. <coughs> OK, and can everybody get out of the property? Yes. No! My baby sister, she's asleep upstairs. <coughs> Your sister's in bed upstairs. OK, crews are on the way. Whatever you do, don't go back in. We'll be with you very shortly, OK? OK, we'll be there soon. Bye. We've known as a dry heat contamination dream that's more effective than the in the underpass and now we've got a house fire coming at 22 the avenue so the crews are still dealing with the fire in the underpass so i'm gonna have to send wellington to the house fire okay i'll uh, call them up on the radio and i'll just let them know okay can you get an eta i will do yeah two one papa two from fh over two one papa two can you be aware that you will be the first appliance in attendance of other appliances dealing with a fire in the underpass can you provide an ETA for your attendance as the first appliance at this time of fire over? Yeah, page 2152, all received. ETA, approximately figures 10 minutes, 2152. Thank you, all received, FA chat. Okay, chaps, yeah, we're going to be first there. It's persons reported. So if you can don up at the board um, and test the hose reel and then wait for me to come and deploy you, okay? Team, if you can get the hose reel off and set up a covering jet. Okay. Nearest hydrant is directly outside the property, just on the left hand side of the property looking at it.
Okay, is there anybody in there? Yeah, my baby's downstairs. She's at the table upstairs. Whereabouts is she? She's upstairs. Is she in this room? Yeah, she's Definitely in that room. Just yeah. one person? Yeah. Okay, where's the fire? Um, it's in the kitchen. What's on fire? Um, the, I left the dinner on and made the cooker. So it's a cooker, okay. I need to get home. Yeah, there's been a serious house fire, unfortunately. I'm not allowed to let you through. I, I need to get home, though. I just live up there. Okay, what number do you live at, please? 22. 22. Bear with me a moment. 6717. She's done it. She won't be long, OK. Why? What's going uh, on? She's done it. She's coming now. Just piece your mantle, OK? OK. Hiya, yeah, I, I'm Laura, I live at number 22, I need to get home. Oh, right, I'm PC Mansell. Um, I'll just take you up there, OK? Uh, wait, 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 my kids, my kids are in there. Uh, oh, wait. no, don't worry, Paige, your daughter, she's in the ambulance at the moment and the five men are in there at the moment looking for your other one. OK, okay. My, my baby, my baby, yeah? Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing what they can. OK. I'll just take you and go and see your daughter. OK. Oh, Uh, so, sorry to bother you, Josh live here. He, he does. He does. So, PC Thomas and PC Mansell are from West Mercia Police. I'm afraid, can we come in? Probably be easier. Absolutely. I'm afraid we need to speak to Josh down at the police station. I have a number of hoax calls we made for the fire service and we need you to come in as well, sir. Josh, there's police here at the door. What have you been come up in. to? Come on in. Hello, Josh. How are you? Hi. My name's PC Thomas. This is my colleague PC Mansell from Hi. the police station, yeah? There's a, been a number of hoax calls to the fire service recently. We've got information that you may be involved in them, okay? For that, we're going to need to speak to you down at the police station, so we're going to need you to come with us and Dad. Alright, so what I want to do is, I have to leave that, I'm afraid, Dad, because we need to get this sort of quiz we can. If you'll pop a coat on, get your shoes on. Uh, Dad, you'll oh, pop a coat on as well, and we'll get you down. What I've got to tell you, mate, is at the moment you're under arrest on suspicion of making hoax calls to the fire service, okay? Of course, you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. You do not mention when questions, something later on in court. And if you do say, so, maybe give them evidence. Alright? We've got to take to the police station so we can interview you about what's gone on. Alright? What the caution means is we've got to ask some questions. We'll explain it when we get there and everything else that goes on. Alright? Dad's ready. You want to grab your coat? Okay, hey, let's go. Come and get your stuff. Sorry about this, Dad. Okay. Dad, do you want to shoot in the front of the van for us? Of course, I'd like to in the back here. Check the help up there, mate. Mind your head. Mind your sit on the chair, yeah? Down to the front of the van. Alright. Come on through. Oh. We'll stand on the front bare from there. Your hands. Down if you stand there. This is the custody session. Okay. And who's this young man? So this is Josh Thompson and this is Dad, Mr. Thompson's acting as appropriate adult. Josh, I'm the custody sergeant, so I'm going to listen to the officer explain to me why you are here. And then I'll explain everything that goes on. Okay, so Josh has been arrested by myself this evening on six counts of making a hoax calls to the fire service over the, the, the last month. Um, however, whilst en route to the custody's desk here, I have a phone call from my colleague CID, who also is speaking to Josh. I've got to tell you, Josh, at this moment, I'm further arresting you on eight separate counts of arson with intent to cause criminal whoa. damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what's that mean? Sorry. Basically, Dad, uh, there's an allegation of starting fires as well as the, the actual hoax calls. Okay, Josh, got to remind you, you are still under caution, okay? You face the sergeant. Josh, I'm going to authorise your detention at this police station to secure and preserve evidence and to obtain evidence by questioning. That means that we'll interview you whilst you were here. And um, if you could just um, put everything you've got in your pockets onto the desk for me, please. Yeah, okay. I've got there. And can I have your date of birth, please, Josh? Um, the 19th of August, um, 2003. If you could take uh, Josh to the cell for me, please, and someone will come and interview you shortly, Josh. Okay. Come with me, Josh. Follow me. You take yourself a seat in there, we'll be finishing in, okay? 
Give us a shot if you need anything. Josh, could you listen to what the officer has to say to you? Okay, Josh, I've got to remind you, slow under caution, okay? I'm going to read the charge it out to you, and then... Okay. okay, Josh, listen very carefully. You are charged that between January the 14th and February the 10th, on eight separate occasions, you have knowingly given a false alarm to a fire to a person acting on behalf of the local fire authority, okay? You're also charged that between the same date, between January the 14th and February the 10th, on six separate occasions, you committed arson in that without lawful excuse, you destroyed by fire property belonging to the local authority, intending to destroy or damage such property, or being reckless as to whether such that property will be destroyed or damaged. To caution you further, you don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention now something later on in court. Okay, Josh, you face us, the sergeant, he'll tell you what happens next. Josh, could you listen to me, please? Um, I'm going to bail you to appear before court in two weeks' time. Um, Dad, could you please make sure he's there, because if you don't attend court, Josh, a warrant could be issued for your arrest, and then you could be arrested again. Do you understand me? Yeah. Have you got any questions, Josh? No. Dad? No. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Sarge. Court rise. Members of the jury, could the foreman please stand? Have you reached a verdict upon which you all agree? Yes. Do you find the defendant, Josh Thompson, guilty or not guilty on count one of the indictment of arson? Guilty. Is that the verdict of you all? It is. Josh Thompson, stand up please. Josh Thompson, you are 15 years of age. You have been found guilty by this jury on six counts of arson. You have also admitted making eight hoax calls to the fire brigade. They all occurred in the course of a month between mid-January and mid-February of last year. With regards to the arson offences, on each occasion you set fire to rubbish and waste paper in underpasses and waste bins around Telford causing damage to a total value of £5,000 to property belonging to the local authority. As a result of your actions, the fire brigade were called out a total of 14 times. Josh, I want you to understand that the maximum sentence for arson is life imprisonment, whether or not you put a life directly in danger. It's life imprisonment because it's a very serious offence. When you set a fire, you cannot control it. You do not know how much damage you might cause. Uh, an out of control fire can cause huge amounts of damage, it can cause huge amounts of inconvenience, but more importantly, it can risk life or serious injury, including to the firefighters that have to deal with them. In addition, you made hoax and malicious calls, and they are a costly and constant danger uh, to the public and in our community. When dealing with hoax calls, the fire service are not able to respond to real incidents as effectively or as quickly. Uh, homes and businesses may suffer, people may die. Uh, there could be a person desperately trying to get out of a building, uh, burning building or trapped in a car crash in urgent need of assistance and that assistance cannot come as quickly because the fire brigade is answering a false call or having to come out to one of those fires that you set. If an appliance is called to a hoax call, this means it can be delayed in responding to a genuine emergency. I suspect, from the evidence that I've heard, that you were making those calls because you found it funny or you were showing off to your friends. Your phone was cut off, yet you still made those calls. You persisted across a month, as I've said, on 14 occasions. These convictions will stay on your record, Josh. If you are older now, or if you continue with this behaviour in the future, a court may take the view that you are dangerous, and a very long sentence would follow. 
As it is, these are serious offences. Uh, I have had regard to your welfare, uh, to the need to provide for your education and training, had regard to your previous good character and your age. But because of the persistence with which you set fires and made hoax calls, I am satisfied that your, your offence is so serious, or your offences are so serious, that only a custodial sentence can be justified. I am imposing a term of 12 months detention and training. Of this sentence, you will spend up to one half in detention, that is custody, and then you will be released to serve the other half of the sentence, the training element, on supervision in the community. You can take him down. Come on, young man, we're in jail. Come on. All changes from now. There you go. All changes from now. Come on. Come back, take your hands off the table. What's your full name? Uh, Joshua Thompson. Joshua Thompson. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Okay, we're going to record everything that you've come into prison with. We're going to record all the clothes that you were standing in, and then you're going to be strip searched. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, fella, are you done? Right this way. Pick up your kit. Just go through there. There you go, step inside there. Somebody will be coming in a few minutes to take you up onto the wing to your cell, okay? A teenager has appeared in court charged in connection with a number of hoax calls and arson-related fires in the county. Police say they acted after a tip-off from a concerned member of the public. In other news today, the Prime Minister...